Welcome to Easy Deploy YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to create cloud runt distribution to serve objects in S3 bucket. What is covered in this video? We will be seeing what is Amazon S3? What is CloudFront? How to create cloud front distribution to serve objects in S3 bucket. Use cases. Enhancing streaming performance with Amazon CloudFront and S3. Our client, a provider of online image and video streaming services, hosts all their media files in an Amazon S3 bucket. Due to the high resolution of these files, end users were experiencing slow rendering times. To optimize performance, we integrated Amazon CloudFront CDN to accelerate content delivery. This strategic move led to significantly improved rendering speeds, offering a better experience for end users. Prerequisites. AWS account. AWS account with CloudFront and S3 full access. Basic knowledge about CloudFront and S3. What is Amazon S3? Amazon S3 is a widely used object storage service provided by Amazon Web Services. It offers scalable storage infrastructure for developers and businesses to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time. S3 is designed to be highly reliable, durable, and secure. It provides features such as data encryption, access control, and versioning to ensure the integrity and security of stored data. S3 allows users to store data in the form of objects, which can range from documents and images to videos and application data. What is CloudFront? CloudFront is a content delivery network service provided by Amazon Web Services. It enables businesses to deliver their content, such as web pages, videos, applications, and APIs, to end users with low latency and high transfer speeds. CloudFront works by caching content at edge locations around the world, which are strategically distributed points of presence located closer to end users. When a user requests content, CloudFront delivers it from the nearest edge location, reducing the latency and improving the overall performance of the delivery. How to create CloudFront distribution to serve objects in S3 bucket. Search for S3. Click Create Bucket. Here we are selecting General Purpose. Give Bucket a name. Here we disabled the ACL because we are doing this for demo purpose. As we are doing this for YouTube video, we don't need public access, so I enabled block all public access. We don't need bucket versioning, so I disabled it. Click Create Bucket. Search for the bucket which we created and go inside that. Here we can upload an object. Click Add Files. I uploaded an HTML file. Click Upload. Now we have uploaded a file successfully. Search for CloudFront. Click Create a CloudFront distribution. Choose Origin Domain from S3, which we created. As we are doing for YouTube video, we don't need public origin access. We can use origin access control to further restrict access to our origin server based on the IP addresses of the cloud front edge locations. But now we are creating origin access identity. An OEI is a special CloudFront user that CloudFront uses to fetch content from your origin server. Give permission to update the bucket policy. I am leaving everything else to default here. You can customize it to your needs. 
We don't need a firewall because we are just doing this for testing purpose. Type the default root object. This is the object which we uploaded in S3 bucket. Click Create Distribution. Distribution is in deploying stage. Now the distribution is deployed. Go inside the distribution which we created. Copy the distribution domain name and search for it. You can see that the content which we given in HTML file is displaying. Conclusion. We have seen, what is Amazon S3? What is CloudFront? How to create CloudFront distribution to serve objects in S3 bucket? Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, implementing, and managing their environment with AWS best practices.